This is Jonathan from Grid Connect, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use COM port redirector to tie your serial to network converter to a virtual COM port. CPR Manager is located here under the Lantronics folder. The first thing you need to do is click on the Add Remove button at the top of the screen. This will open a COM ports window that will show you which COM ports are already in use, like COM3 and which ones are available for creation. We will choose COM2 by clicking on it and clicking OK. To set up our COM2, simply click on it under its COM port folder on the left. This will bring up its settings tab. We then want to click on the search for devices to find our networked adapter. The search results will display down here. When we double click on our device in the search results, it will pop up in the COM2 host list here. For all typical application, no other COM2 settings will need to be adjusted. You can just use the defaults. We can just click save and it saves all the modified COM ports. If a hardware installation warning pops up at this point, click on continue anyways. The only thing left to do is test the COM port. You can do this in the COM2 test tab. If we click on open, we see that the COM status changes to open and the network status is connected to our device's IP address and port number. Be sure to close the COM port before you exit or it will be unavailable for use with your software. Your COM port is now created. If we look under device manager, under ports, COM and LPT, we can see that COM2 is displayed and ready for use.